Hey, welcome back. We are going to break down our work process after the photos have been edited and exported. So first things first, we want to get these photos hosted online so we can share them with the couple uh, before we're able to send the flash drive or anything. The first thing we can do is send them a link. So what we use for now is Zenfolio. So we're going to log in. So as you see, there's a lot going on here, but uh, there's one place that we want to go that is all set up for us. And that is the weddings folder, which it actually defaulted us into. So what would normally happen is you would start here and then just click on the very first one, which is weddings. And now we will upload. So you just click on upload, add folder, or you can do them individually. Sometimes it's, it's a little safer just to drag them in, but for now I'm going to do folder. Current, we'll go to the wedding date, and then we will want the final ones with no watermark. Hit upload. And now here they all are. So once we hit start upload, they will start uploading. Um, I'm just going to only do a few of these so it goes quickly. And once it finishes, if we uh, would go back to our weddings folder. So I will grab one right here. And everything is right here. And what we would do is we would grab this link. And when we share the photos with the couple, we will use this link. Um, also, once everything is, once we've kind of gotten through the teaser phase on Facebook and everything, we will use this link as well if we want to share all of their photos online. Sometimes couples maybe don't want us to share all of them, just a few. So we got to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but generally, we'll share everything on there. So. To do that, to get everything on social media, um, the best place to start is to log into 17 Hats and then search for the couple's name. So let's, uh, the one we were just looking at is Megan. So we will go there and then give that a second to load. And if you go to the questionnaire, we actually started asking them for their social media handles at the very bottom. So as you'll see, um, they have their at. Um, or Facebook, Instagram, even they even provided Twitter, even though we don't even use Twitter too much. Uh, but all that is in here. Um, but then you can also just maybe search their names. So um, if needed to, you can scroll back up here at the top and we always have their names, the groom's names, the bride's name. Uh, so all that is in there. Um, another piece of information that you are going to pull from here will be um, any vendors and locations. We love to tag and to share with uh, the location as well as the vendors. Um, this one's a little bit different because they actually, it was a backyard wedding. So uh, not, a, not a normal location, but what we would probably put is something like location Park Ridge, Illinois or something like that. Whereas normally we would put, you know, location, you know, Hyatt Regency, Schaumburg or wherever it would be. Um, and then all the vendors, we also try to find them and tag them as well. If you can't find them, totally fine. Or say it's a, you know, DJ and the DJ was a friend and it's you would it might be his personal profile and we can't seem to find him. Not the end of the world, but the more we can find, kind of the better. So what we will do then is uh, we'll hop over to our Facebook business page. And um, for the ones where we really want to boost it out is um, we'll use actual Facebook. Now, if we're just doing kind of a campaign where we want to kind of trickle out the rest of their photos, um, we have software like Buffer and Later that we can use. Um, but for anything we really want to make sure it's getting in front of them, we will do it on the actual platform. So that would go for Instagram as well. Uh, an easy way to handle Instagram is to basically use um, something like Dropbox or Google Drive and take those best of the best photos with the watermark and throw those into a Dropbox or Google Drive and then that way you can access it from your phone. Uh, the only thing with Instagram is you can't post on Instagram from your computer. You got to use like a phone or a tablet or something like that. So you will have to do that to get those on there. Um, but everything else we can do from the computer. So um, we're here on Facebook and they've actually added, you can do page stories now. So if possible, um, it's even better just to do it on both. So we're getting in front of even more people. So we'll do a kind of a test run here. So I'm going to go to photos, upload photo. We'll actually say we were just pushing out one and we wanted, um, let's see here. Let's grab one of just the bride. So we got that here. So then we will do some kind of write up. So it can be as simple as congrats. 
to Ryan. So then we will, if it allows us to, tag them. And sometimes you might have to track them down on Facebook first to be able to tag them. Uh, if you're still having trouble, like right now, I don't think we are finding them, which happens. Facebook makes it a little tricky sometimes to tag people, even if you've added them. So if that happens, just go ahead and put their names and either you can jump back in later or I can try to jump in and get them tagged. Uh, but generally just put something nice on there. If you were there at the wedding, you know, if you want to add a little comment, something you remember that was funny or whatever, go ahead and put that in there too. Then we have a basically a template um, which I can send of all the things we like to tag. So this would be ceremony location and where it was at, um, reception location, even prep location if it was something different, which this one was at a Hyatt. So it's probably worthwhile to put that in there too. We then start listing all the vendors, and that even includes us. So photo was us, of course. Video was us. And then all the other ones that we have information on. So this could be the florist, DJ, wedding planner, coordinator, catering, dessert, hair and makeup pretty much any info we got from them, we want to tag them in it because the more people we tag, the better. So this one being um, its location, we can put that in there right now. There it is, easy enough. Copy that over to the reception, um, even add location in the post, just kind of double up on it. And then uh, once this goes live, I won't share it right now because we don't want this to go public right now, but whenever we post this then, um, you can even tag the couple into the post. Um, I can even hop in on my personal one if I'm personal friends with them and I'll share it on their page. Um, but what we'll then do, so say we have that post. Let's grab one as an example. We then want to start sharing it everywhere we possibly can. So a good way to do that is just to hit share. Share in a private message and then find that venue or DJ or whatever it is. Let's see if we can find theirs right now. So they're not showing up right now, but we'll just pretend we're sending it to ourselves. Um, and just, yeah, basically search them down. Something very simple like, hey, it was a great time working with you at name and names wedding. Here is their photo or video from their wedding day. Let us know if you need anything from us. Just something nice and simple and to the point and we'll send that out to them and you know maybe they'll respond or whatever. Um, we even sometimes maybe just say, hey, feel free to share this or whatever. A lot of times the response is just, hey, can we share this on Facebook? And, you know, we'll just say, yeah, go ahead, just as long as you tag us kind of thing. So um, so that's what we'll do for all the vendors. Um, and that pretty much gets it shared around with them. Um, we also like to email it to the couples, which you'll have within 17 hats. Um, and you can actually use 17 hats to send the message. So if I go to their basically their main page, go to emails start a new email we might have a template if not we can create one um, even if you want to create one just like hey your photos are ready and then just something very simple like we're so excited uh, we just got done editing all of your photos um, Here's a link to your photos. Let us know if we can help in any way or set up an album, you know, something just like that. Um, we'll maybe even make a template that you can just use. And what you'll just do then is you'll copy over that link from Zenfolio, 
drop it in here and then that will send to the couple so that way they have all their photos um, probably before you've even done that I probably have already sent them a few sample ones just to kind of whet their appetite as far as their photos as well so um, so that's basically how that will work um, then we also have buffer and later that will come into play so buffer we use for Facebook so what you can actually do then is take those um, great photos that you just got done editing and kind of sprinkle them out through the week um, so what we do is just uh, go to Buffer, um, log in, and then add image or video. We'll click on that. Click on an image we want to use. That one was too big, so we won't use that one right now. Um, let that load, and then you can customize, and it will basically go on our Facebook and our Twitter. And you can choose when it's going to go. So right now we have the queue all set up and everything, so all you would have to do is just hit Add Queue and then that photo will go onto Facebook and Twitter. We like to do that for maybe about a week or two, um, and then we'll move on kind of the next wedding. Uh, and then next is later, which we have. So we'll let this load real quick. Just say that got uploaded. Then you'll click on the image, hit create a post. Um, then we pull all of our hashtags. So you can pretty much search anything like best hashtags. And you will find a generator somewhere in here. Um, once you get the generator, uh, just type in something you know relevant to the photo. For this one, it could just be groom, wedding ceremony, something like that. Copy and paste all those into here. And then you can choose when this will go live. So um, I like to kind of sprinkle them out. Uh, we, it, it's kind of hard to say when's the best time. It seems like sometimes we get a lot of hits in the morning, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we get a lot of hits in the evening, sometimes we don't. So it seems like though, the kind of the later is usually the better. So um, kind of like that five, six o'clock, maybe when people are getting home from work or whatever, they do a quick check on Instagram. And so that seems to be ideal right now. That might change as time goes on. Um, so what you'll do is uh, say this is you know the series from the wedding. We got like five great photos from the wedding that we want to use. Uh, just kind of sprinkle them out through the week. Then so you know you could put one on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, if you want to change the time a little bit, you can, and just copy in a list of hashtags for each one. Hit save, and then it will do the rest. That pretty much covers everything as at the core of sharing. Uh, video is almost the same, just with a little bit variation um, as far as kind of what we're sharing, but we still kind of go through the same process of tagging the vendors and sharing with them. All that is still the same, um, getting all the hashtags and everything. Um, so all that will remain pretty much the same. So hopefully this video helps out. Uh, if you have any questions that come up during this process, please let me know. Uh, even if you want to post some privately just so I can look them over before they go public. That would be great too. All right, talk to you soon.